processing the insights from the automotive industry. It's the case about the Mercedes S Class, specifically focused in the United States by me, Nurani Yasser, and my colleague, and what? Presented to Dr. Dorae and to Dr. Rowan. This is our agenda for today. Introduction. Mercedes Benz founded in 1901 in Germany. It began as a manufacturer of gas engine after facing increasing the demand. It went to develop cars, and now it is the larger automotive industry. Our research focused on the S-Class and we aim to analyze its demand and supply pattern over the decade while examining the environment. Mercedes introduced the S-Class to get in the market segmentation of a luxury car and niche market. Research objected to analyze demand and supply pattern over the decade to provide future insight of the industry. Hypothesis. To test the framework for the industry analysis of Mercedes-Benz S-Class and to test if the violation occurs or not occurs. Motivation. To provide insight for the S-Class and the company's success in linking their brand name to luxury among all nations has motivated the construction of this research. So now we'll be discussing the literature review. To begin with, we'll be discussing how the automotive sector influences economic growth. It has a very positive influence on the uh, various countries' GDPs because it contributes to various factors of the GDP, GDP such as the investment. Billions of dollars have been contributed to R&D all over the uh, world for the automotive sector and, or, and it also attracts investors to invest in these companies due to their R&D research and uh, resources. Uh, in addition, uh, the automotive sector is a huge consumer in the market because it consumes so many parts to, in order to produce these cars. In addition to that, um, customers willing to buy these products are always changing, their, con their preferences are always changing to demand is never ending. It employs uh, a lot of jobs and provides a lot of jobs opportunities for individuals and about 4.5% of jobs in the USA are in the automotive sector. We're now going to discuss the market type of Mercedes, which is an oligopoly. It consists of a few competitors, which consists of about 52% of the market share, which include Audi, BMW, and uh, Porsche, and they're all German companies. Uh, they're all German companies. Uh, they produce pr differentiated products with uh, various features, and each one has their own trademark and uh, features that they implement in their uh, cars. Um, the features of an oligopoly market are the high barriers to entry due to the large market shares that each one consists of the total market. Uh, and then we have the barriers to entry. The automotive sector has extremely high barriers of entry due to the very high costs of uh, starting up new businesses. And already existing companies have economies of scale due to the large operations. So new startups will not be able to benefit from all these uh, as they are just newly into the market. So it's extremely difficult to penetrate into this oligopoly market. Uh, we have the trade barriers. Uh, there are so many trade barriers which affect the imports and exports and the trade in general between the automotive sectors in different countries, which include the quotas and the uh, taxes. Uh, taxes imposed influence the number of imports and exports because they limit the number that they can do in addition to the quantity that, uh, that's limited due to the tariffs imposed. Uh, the pricing strategies that Mercedes implements are the cost plus pricing strategy, which is adding extra charges on the actual costs incurred due to the high quality that they produce and that the high costs of producing these cars. Uh, the possibility of collusion, uh, there is very high collusion in the automotive sector, especially between uh, between the new assumptions that have arrived lately between Mercedes and uh, BMW as they have been colluding together to penetrate into the market. In general, the automotive sector is an oligopoly market, so they have been colluding together to set prices and the competitors have been secretly working together. And it's technically not illegal. Mercedes Global Market Share. Mercedes comprise about 3.1% of the global market share and has 2% of the USA market share only. Market volume. Mercedes sold 27,500 cars and the US 9,000 only. Uh, we conducted a strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat analysis, also known as the uh, SWOT analysis, to examine the environment and the strength of the company as a 
call. Uh, first of all, Mercedes uh, Strength Club is very fast adaptation to technologies because there are innovation and leaders across the uh, world. They provide safety platforms for various uh, companies, uh, such as the safety innovations that they have introduced, uh, airbags, anti-locking uh, brakes. So they have very fast adaptation to technology. In addition to their cost efficiency in their production, they are very cost efficient and they gain a lot of economies of scale from their large operations world. Uh, wide and they contribute millions of dollars to R&D uh, annually, which helps them to be the innovation leaders in the industry. However, there are some weaknesses that Mercedes has as a result of it being a multinational company, which includes the very slow responsive times due to the high demand and the consumer complaint. So the responsive times have been extremely slow reportedly and they emit very high levels of carbon dioxide while they're te testing for manufacturing their uh, products, which are also a very big weakness for them. A lot of vehicles have been recalled from Mercedes, especially the S-Class, due to faulty airbags and steering wheel. There are so many opportunities for uh, Mercedes into the market, which they could go into the a hybrid car market, which is uh, they can penetrate the market easily due to the technologies and innovations they have and their RID investments, so it will help them implement successfully their penetration into the market and they can expand into more geographical locations to uh, have more economies of scale. Uh, there are so many threats that were imposed on Mercedes, especially from the COVID-19 pandemic as the extended period of lockdowns, the number of lockdowns that all halted production and decreased their output massively. So this posed a huge threat on their uh, supply and their revenues as a result. And the shortage of semiconductors imported from China has decreased their supply massively because they could not produce these cars without the imports from uh, China, which was a threat on the business as it increased the customer wait waiting periods when they want to get their uh, cars. And there are multiple regulations that have been imposed uh, worldwide on the productions and safety measures that has to be followed, which also poses some threats onto the company. Mr. Anand, Mercedes-Benz is the most famous brand luxury car. It includes national rules to regulate what bands is allowed and not allowed, especially in a business area. Economic factor. German economy has been stagnant state since 2009 in the financial crisis, which lead to decreased productivity. Social factors. Mercedes target the A-class customers who buy the cars as it gives them a prestige status. Technological factors. Mercedes, it has a brand based on innovation technology. They invest on research and development, uh, and it's get a positive impact on them. Legal factors. Mercedes, international presence will get the company to study the virus legal environment in different market, consumer and employee protection, laws, and brand image. Environmental factors. Mercedes is a party of the automotive sector it's obligatory to adhere to the different environment laws to reduce emissions and carbon dioxide. Uh, here we have the quarterly model demonstrate, uh, demonstrated to begin with. Uh, the threats of new entrants for Mercedes is very uh, low due to its very high market uh, share, which minimizes the threat of new entrants into the market as they will not be able to benefit from the economies of scale and the high startup costs that would be imposed on the new uh, businesses. The threat of competition is moderately high due to the number of competitors. However, it is considered not as many competitors in the market due to it being an oligopoly uh, type of uh, market. So its brand image and its prestige has minimized the threat of competition. Uh, bargaining power of buyers. Buyers do have the power to influence prices as there are many alternatives to choose from and uh, competition is very high in the automotive industry. So they can influence the uh, prices. Uh, the suppliers, however, do not have this power to influence the prices due to the high competition in the supplier uh, industry and the low uh, costs of changing between businesses and suppliers. Threat of substitutes, it has a moderate threat of substitutes because uh, its brand image and its, uh, its brand image, the brand loyalty, it prevents people from substituting into other brands and uh, individuals when they buy as class and they want to substitute it, they also substitute it with the newer and more innovative version of the S class.
And here we have our demand curve. We have the price in US dollars as a quantity in um, units. This is demonstrated in the United States. First of all, a violation has not been witnessed for the demand as the demand is negatively related to the prices. As the quantity demand is increased, uh, as the prices increase, the quantity demand is decreased. However, this does not did not happen in the period from 2011 to 2000. Uh, 14 because it did not really respond to the changes in prices. The demand is, the, the demand still remained to increase when the prices increased. This was due to the high uh, demand on the luxury cars, and it was a very good opportunity for Mercedes to recover from the lost sales during the, the 2009 financial crisis. Uh, to analyze the trend line, uh, here we have for every increase in the price by one dollar, demand decreases by 4.7566 units. Supply curve for Mercedes, Mercedes Benz. There's no violation because it's a positive. Price increase as supply increase. Increase in production was due to technological innovation and subsidies from the government. $191 million of, of aid over the decade. Then in 2020, supply declined due to the pandemic, semiconductors, lockdown. For the trend line, Every increase by one dollar, the, the quantity supply increased by 0 0.807 uh, units. Here we have our market equilibrium. As you can see, there is no equilibrium established for the uh, Mercedes and the for the S class in the United uh, States, as the curve did not intersect and no violations were detected for both the demand and the supply. This is created a surplus of the S class, which were used as expert to the rest of the world. Yeah, we have the elasticity of demand. Elasticity has been massively fluctuating over the years, half of the decade following, uh, following an elastic demand and the other half following an inelastic demand. During the uh, elastic demand years, uh, the quantity demand was responding to the changes in prices as Mercedes S Plus is a price sensitive uh, product. And for the inelastic years, there were slight changes in the um, quantity demanded when prices increased, therefore it was not really responding to the prices as consumers were willing to, to pay that amount for the car. Elasticity of supply. There are seven year inelastic as the price shifted in significant influence on the supply in the inelastic years. They get higher revenues and profit in these seven years. But we have three years are elastic cause a big change in the supply. When a price change, they decrease the productivity. Conclusion. To sum up, there is no violation of the Mercedes S class and it's a price sensitive. Possibly an increase of GDP investment and research and development, high global market share and domestic, the pandemic significant drop in the demand and supply. Uh, there are multiple recommendations for Mercedes to follow. First of all, being that they should penetrate the electric cars market because it's a newly developed uh, market and it is where all the consumers are. Uh, are intending to buy from, therefore it would be a great opportunity for it to penetrate the uh, hybrid cars uh, market to generate revenues and to diversify their uh, portfolio even more. And they should ensure the safety of all vehicles to avoid the vehicles, re uh, vehicles being recalled from uh, customer. Mm -hmm. And they should also increase their production in countries to um, benefit more from the economies of, economies of scale provided. References. Thank you. Thank you.